working on this uh, trail where it crosses a gully. So I want a crossing to go between these uh, two uh, you know, large trees here. This gully in here is about uh, nine or 10 feet deep. And as I find fallen trees, I've been building it up with the trunks of the trees. So over here, I've got two good base trees. So I'm gonna span across uh, in front of these trees and make like a wall and then fill in the rest of the logs up against that wall. And over time, this will start to fill in. I wanna get it almost up to the grade of the banks, but not quite because I still want it to uh, <clears throat> drain water. This is a part I worked on for the last year or two. This was the same way. Um, this gully actually started there and dropped straight down. And there is a, a, gaping, a gaping hole there. But um, you can see it's starting to fill in just with natural stuff. And so last year or two, I put logs in up to here and it's been filling in pretty good. There are some gaps, which um, that's not a problem. I'll fill that in with uh, smaller um, little buck logs and I'll drop them in there and fill that up. The same with this, but it's filling in nice. This is just a dry gully, it comes down here. But um, I just want a nice wide spot to cross. And that size is okay, but the dirt bank is there. This will be much more of a natural crossing. It's nice and wide. And that's another tree that I'm gonna drop in over here. That was a deadfall. Finally came down and I cut it up. And, um, but this will be a good like alternate access route uh, for getting up to the, uh, where we're gonna build a home up on this hill. So that's progress for now. Hopefully this will be uh, maybe about four or five more logs high, and then I'll start filling in the cross logs filling in the gaps, make it good and solid, and we'll see how it goes from there.